starting to paint this bag with these tiny hands. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And as you guys probably know, I graduated from UCLA School of Film. According to Google, that is. And I just love going to school so much, I just really want to go back. So I'm officially quitting being a YouTuber to go back to school. But before I do that, I figured I might as well show you guys some of these awesome life hacks that I learned from Sarah's Beauty Corner. That's what we're gonna be trying today. We're gonna be trying her Beauty Corner crafts. Okay, let's get into the craft. Epic bottle pencil case. Stick to bottles, the zipper, glue gun, and scissors. Cut your first bottle right below the point where it starts getting narrow. Second bottle needs to be cut much lower and both bottle pieces are ready. It's time to grab the zipper. Place it on a flat surface and apply a bit of glue on each side of the zipper like this. While the glue is still soft, stick on the bottle pieces. Apply the glue all along both sides of your zipper. And simply roll both bottle parts down so that they stick to the zipper. Okay guys, so here are our bottles. First thing we gotta do is cut this one off right about here. Boop, boop, boop. That doesn't look super even to me. Yeah, that looks uh, a little bit better, I guess. Um, then we gotta cut a little bit shorter of one. Let's get right about here. Oh no! Uh, it's so uneven now. Why did I do this to myself? Okay, good enough. It's gonna be like that. I have mixed feelings on this. Well, don't need this anymore. And then we get our zipper. Take this off. Dab some hot glue on the zipper. The back side. You don't want the front side. This is what I mean, see? This is the back side, and this is the front side with the actual zipper. Carefully place our bottle on there, and then just put a strip of hot glue on either side. And we carefully roll it up. I think my zipper might be a little bit too short. But you know what? Uh, I think it works. Then we let the hot glue cool down. Now that this is cooled down, uh, let's see if it actually works. Oh, wow! That's pretty neat. I think I could uh, glue it down a little better right here. But besides that, this actually works. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this DIY pencil holder actually works. I would probably uh, decorate it, you know, not advertise smart water, um, but you know, besides that, pretty cool. Good way to reuse a bottle. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put all my old paint pens inside of it. Let's see how this looks. So close, it fits all but two of my paint pens. Not gonna lie, this is pretty cool. Nice! Wow, what a great concept. Maybe I could even take off this sticker. There we go! Now there's just a bunch of sticky stuff on it. But you know what? You can see all the colors you have. So that's pretty neat. Let's see what other DIY beauty supplies we can try. Okay guys, so here's my candy bag of choice. But first we gotta take out all the candy. Oh, Sour Patch Kids are so good. Nom, nom, nom. Go ahead and put these in a bag for later. Boobity boop. Don't need these anymore. Now I'm gonna do a slight modification from Sarah's version. Since hers uh, was just kind of small, I'm gonna go ahead and maintain the sides because I already have sides. I'm just gonna cut the top off and flip it inside out. Then I'm gonna get my duct tape and just wrap it all around. This way it's nice and sturdy. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty fun. Now the zipper is gonna be in. Now we go ahead and flip it back inside out. Yeah, this definitely feels a lot more sturdy. I like it. And you have to somehow carefully glue in your zipper with a hot glue gun. Ah, oh, it's so hot. Get your clamp and just clamp it right on there. Sarah used hair clips, but I don't have any hair clips, so just using these little uh, clamps that I got at Harbor Freight. Go ahead and carefully hot glue it, the rest on there. I'm gonna do one side first. Get some more clamps, let that cool down. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Take these off for a second, and then we do the other side. Do a boop. Carefully tuck that in. Get in there, come on. Put on our clamps. Then we wait for the glue on this side to cool off. Moments later. Okay guys, this is pretty cool now. Let's go ahead and take off these clips. You guys ready to see how this works? Before I try this out, I want you guys to hit that like button. Also, if you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys like these kind of videos. I upload videos every Friday, so uh, make sure to turn on notifications. That way you can uh, get notified every time I upload a new video. Anyway, uh, let's see if this works. Oh no, the hot glue. <gasps> it stuck it together. I messed up the zipper with the hot glue. Oh no, what have I done? I did it! Look at that! We got ourselves a new little bag! It's a Sour Patch bag! Wow! Now I can put my clips in there. Yes, perfect! Wow! And I can also put my Toby! What? You're gonna shove me in there? Yeah, I am! No, what? No! You can't make me! Get in there! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one 
works. Just get me out of here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh! <gasps> Never do that again, please. Toby, what do you mean? You mean you don't like being shoved into a bag? No, I really don't. Okay, uh, well, I'm sorry. It's okay. Just don't do it again. You're not, why are you saying anything? Don't do it again. Oh, uh, yeah, I totally won't do it again. No! Long piece of fabric from your jeans. Flip it inside out. Take a glue gun and apply a stripe of glue along that freshly cut side. Pull the edge up and hold till the glue sets. Apply a bit more glue and stick the back piece of fabric on as well. Turn it on one side and fold it down like this. Apply a drop of glue on the bottom corner and fold it up. Do the same on the top corner, but this time fold it down. Flip the pocket basket or whatever you want to call it inside out. I like to roll the top edge down and stick on some jeans patches. They look so adorable and they're super handy to have on your desk. Okay, guys, so here are our pants. I already had one leg cut off this one, so might as well cut off the other leg. Now I have jean cutoffs. Just in time for summer. I'm gonna cut this a little bit shorter. I can almost make two out of these. There we go. I'm gonna even off this side too. Just to get rid of all the fluffy stuff. Go ahead and flip this inside out. Put some hot glue right here. Just fold that in. Let that cool down. And then we put another layer. And then we glue the second little fold on. Just like that. You go ahead and flip it onto its side. And then on the bottom, you put a little bit of hot glue right there. And right there. And just fold it right onto itself. And then we flip it back inside out. Now we have ourselves a little uh, jean shorts bag. Yay. And just like how I fold my shirt, we're gonna go ahead and fold this little bag up. Just like that. Not gonna lie. This turned out pretty cute. Wow, so fun. Now we're gonna bedazzle it with some of these stones. Oh gosh, I got them everywhere. I'm just gonna hot glue it on. This whole craft is based off a of hot glue, you see. And there we go. Now we have ourselves a cute little rhinestone bag. Now what are we gonna put in here? A Toby, maybe? You're gonna shove me in another bag? Yep, pretty much. No! Get in there. Oh! No! You're the only thing I could think of that would fit. You couldn't put, you couldn't put like pencils or something? Toby, that would be too easy, you see. Yeah, uh, I guess you're right. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. And it's Toby approved. No, it's not. I hate this thing. All right, well, let me get you out of there. <laughs> Toby, no. Toby, Toby, that's my head. Oh! This is probably one of the coolest backpacks I've ever seen, and you can have one too. We'll need a backpack, paint brushes, and fabric paint. First, I like to sketch the design on my backpack. All right, time to grab the fabric paint. Our backpack is complete and I couldn't be happier with the result. Okay guys, so here is our bag. It's not a backpack, it's just a tote that I bought at Walmart and on the back it says positive vibes only. I really vibe with this message of positive vibes. So, uh, you know, we're just gonna not draw over it and draw it on the back. And on the back, I think I'm gonna draw myself a Pokeball. I have this like little thing to hold paint, but it's perfectly circle, so I'm gonna put that right in the middle. And then we're gonna draw our circle using a pencil. And then we go ahead and draw our Line. I'm gonna use this yardstick that I have. That's a little high. Maybe towards the middle. Actually, I think there's a band, like, it's a band. And then I'm gonna get my Red Bull can, and then I'm gonna use that as a circle. Oh no, I got it all over my bag. Get off of there. I mean, it's not the prettiest Pokeball, but it'll do. Go ahead and start with our red, and then we get some white, and last but not least, a little bit of black. Now let's get to painting. Pretty good. Now it's time for us to do the white. The white turned out pretty nice. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with some black. Basically, we just do the circle and the little line right here. I think I might also do the outline of the whole Pokeball uh, just to help it stick out. And now we're done! And I have this awesome Pokemon bag. Whoa, Robbie! I actually like this bag! Can you please not shove me in this one? Uh, I'll think about it. Oh. Just kidding. Wait, no! Ah! 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 I'm sorry, Toby. How can I make it up to you? Can you make me a little bag? Yeah, I can do that. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll make it out of this little bag that I found. Wow! It's perfect! Well, guys, a tiny bag calls for tiny hands. I'm gonna be attempting to paint this bag with these tiny hands. First things first. Oh gosh, oh my god, oh, oh, ah, come back here, okay. First step, pick up the paintbrush. Oh, so close. Yes, okay, we did it, okay. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and cheat a little bit. Let's tape that on, perfect. Gonna bring in our paint, and then carefully draw the circle. Oh my gosh. Oh! 
I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Give me more control. Yes. This is truly the power of tiny hands. Then we're gonna do the red. Yes. Go ahead and really just fill that red in. Just be really precise with your tiny hands. Draw the little circle in the middle. I should have finished the white. Oh, now that looks like a Pokeball. Do the finishing details. Wow, this really turned out great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let the paint dry and then we'll give it to Toby. Two hours later. Okay, Toby, are you ready for your new backpack? Yeah! I'm so excited! Here you go. Oh, it looks great. Fantastic, Robbie! <laughs> this looks like sh Toby, are you saying you don't like it? I mean, why does yours look so much better? Well, you see, Toby, I actually used tiny hands. What? You used tiny hands to make my bag? Oh, I mean, it's fine. There, there, it's okay to... your tennis ball. What? I don't even get to go to school? For all you cereal lovers, I have a fun DIY that makes use of your empty cereal box. What do you need is some wrapping paper, cereal box, scissors, and a tape. First, you have to cut your cereal box by diagonally like this. Now take a wrapping paper of your choice. Lastly, fold the wrapping paper inside the box. You can also secure it in place with a piece of tape. There we go. Our cereal box organizers are finished. So the first thing I'm going to need are some cereal boxes. But first, I want to take all the cereal out. I think it would be wasteful if I just threw it away, so. Okay, that's one. And that's a two. Hmm. So now that we have our empty cereal box, we go ahead and get our scissors and cut it into shape. Oh yes, perfect. Then we go ahead and get some wrapping paper and wrap it up. Just like how we're almost wrapping up this video. <laughs> Great joke, right? Down in the comments down below, let me know if you pity laughed or not. Or you just didn't laugh at all. Grab some tape, and we tape it off. This is just like wrapping a Christmas present. It's pretty unsuspenseful. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. Uh... Cut it down a little bit, and now I'm gonna fold it in. Wow, this really looks uh, great. But unfortunately, I don't have any notebooks to put inside of it. I guess I'm just gonna have to fix that, aren't I? You guys, so here's our notebook. And I couldn't find any as as a tech paper. I think that's what she called it. I couldn't find it, what she was talking about. So I just bought this reusable bag thing. It's kind of made out of a rubbery material. I figured it would be strong enough to hold the baby oil and the glitter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut a hole in my notebook. Oh yes, just a clean, clean hole. I can almost do two holes. You know what, I'm just gonna make a giant one. Looks pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix baby oil and glitter together inside of this bag. Baby oil. Now we add the glitter. A little bit of blue. A little bit of purple. A little bit of a uh, cyan. 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 And we should have ourselves a galaxy. That's pretty fun. I think I need to add more glitter. Wow! Look at all these tiny microplastics. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and hot glue this bad boy in. Flip that open. Put hot glue on our perimeter. And carefully put it on. What does it stay? Oh wow! What a fun notebook! Woo, 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 woo. I see the galaxy inside my notebook. It's perfect! And now we have something to put inside of our notebook holder. Oh no, it's too small. Oh no, I didn't think of that. Holder was nice in theory, you know? But at least I have this cool notebook now. Look at that. There's a galaxy in my notebook. Woo! I love it. 10 out of 10, fantastic notebook idea. Would recommend. Notebook holder though? I don't know. I'm definitely gonna have to find more notebooks, that's for sure. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do with this, but uh eh. I'll figure something out. Woo! Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. It looks like this one right down there. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on all notifications. I upload videos every Friday. If you guys like this video, you guys want to watch me try more fun crafts. I actually have an entire playlist where I do that right here. And if that doesn't sound fun, I have a whole nother playlist where I try pranks and another one where I do crazy experiments. They're all great. Hours and hours of entertainment. I highly recommend all of them. Okay, guys, I'll so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, up and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're not eating. Okay, bye. Ah!